Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is officially cozy season. It's October. The pumpkins can come out. <laughs> In this video, I have three little simple autumn DIYs that you can do if you are in lockdown. <laughs> So let's just say, I think I'm going to be home for most of winter like the rest of us. Um, I'm not mentioning the C word. The only C word I'll be mentioning is Christmas. Yes, and that is fast approaching too. Anyway, I'm gonna get straight into it. I have three autumn DIYs. One is pulled from the archives. These are cozy, smell delicious, and they're really easy. So anybody can do these. Perfect afternoon crafts. I hope you enjoy them. Let's make some wax melts. These are so easy to make and you can make loads from one batch. I'm going to be using beeswax and I'm going to be using coconut oil and then I have some essential oils and I have a cute pumpkin mold. Of course I do. We had to go all out because it's autumn now. I'm making a double boiler. So I just have a pot simmering with water and I place a bowl on top and I placed in 50 grams of beeswax and I'm placing 100 grams of coconut oil and I'm going to let that melt and I'm simply going to stir in the essential oils. I'll pop on a little card here with the details of the essential oils and how many drops and you'll see when I'm pouring this into the molds that I made quite big molds but if I popped half into the molds, I would have been able to get more, but you can just increase the quantities that I have used or decrease depending on the mold that you have. But to be honest, the more wax melts, the better. These smell delicious and they also make great presents. And once they just set, um, they actually set really quickly. So once they set, you can just pop them out and then you can just give them to your friends. Store them in like a cool, dark area because you don't want to leave them out to melt. But I found out these, um, they dried super quick. And the reason why you add coconut oil to the beeswax is because it makes them easier to melt. If you don't add coconut oil to the beeswax, it's going to take longer for them to melt. sprays are so easy to make you may remember me making a sleep spray in lockdown well I use it all up and I'm recycling the glass bottle again and I'm making a fresh batch for this I just pop in some distilled water I then pop in some witch hazel if you don't have witch hazel you can use vodka and this just helps the oils to mix in with the water if you don't use this they're not going to mix I will pop a card on here as well that gives you the measurements that I used but you can use as little or you can add more depending on how strong you like your scent always remember to give it a good shake before you use it because you want the oils to mix and then spray away I gathered up my favourite leaves that I found in the garden for this project. I wanted to pick ones that had some nice shape. I am using some air dry clay for this DIY so I simply just took a chunk of it out of the bag and rolled it out. It's much easier if you use an actual rolling pin. I do not actually have a rolling pin because I don't bake so I had to improvise here. I simply placed the leaf on top of the clay and gently rolled it. I wanted to get all of the details from the leaf into the clay. I then used a knife just to gently cut around the leaf. You can use a blade, but I found this clay to be easy to work with, so a knife or even a butter knife would do the job here. You 
can use a bowl or a teacup depending on the size of the leaf and the trinket dish that you want so line them with some cling film and then simply pop it in and mold it and shape it to the shape that you want Once my clay leaf dishes were fully dry, I then used some bright copper spray paint. I love the colour of this spray paint. I only had to do one coat of spray paint for this DIY and then I allowed it to fully dry. that's my autumn crafts i hope you got some value from them my favorite is actually the room spray also just a word of caution i know i've said it before anytime i have used essential oils just be careful if you have cats and um, because cats are quite essential oils are quite toxic to cats and it's when it's in the air i believe that their fur um absorbs it and when they clean themselves they ingest it and it's something to do with their liver you can look it up so if you are going to be using the room spray make sure it's not kind of in an area where your cats are going to be sleeping i'm actually going to put it into my car because my car always has that just car smell and i want to open that car door and be like autumn um, so if you are going to be burning wax melts, like on one hand, candles that you buy that are full of stuff that you don't know, I'm sure they're just as equally toxic as well to humans and pets. Um, but just be mindful of essential oils and cats. I'm not sure exactly what volume it is toxic, if it's just toxic in general, but you can do your research. And I just want to give you a heads up, especially if you diffuse essential oils every day, just be careful with your pets. I think this year more than ever, I think this autumn especially, I have just been trying to, I've had the nesting feeling. And I think it's because we know pretty much winter um, I've come to terms with it, I'm grand, that it's going to be lots of nights in and cosy nights in and if you saw like my stationary haul a few weeks ago, um, it's like I've been preparing for this or something um, I'm just trying to make my home as cosy as possible and one of the things I love is scent, so scent and warmth and um, candles, I just feel like that's what I'm guided to have in my house this autumn. If you hear banging, there's always an interruption. I think my neighbor's building something in the garden. Fair play to him, but this is banging. So, you know the drill. Cheeky thumbs up if you enjoy this. And please do share, sharing is caring. And um, make sure you hit the subscribe button because a lot of people who are watching my videos at the moment are not actually subscribed to my channel. So make sure you are subscribed um, so that YouTube know you wanna see my videos and that you get my Thursday recommendation. So I upload every Thursday. A few of you guys are saying that you're not seeing my uploads or you're like, oh, glad you're back. Um, but I didn't leave, it's just YouTube's algorithm. So every Thursday, seven o'clock Irish time, I upload so you can just check back or pop the bell notification on as well. So that is me for this week. Happy October, now that we are in October. Um, yeah, and let's get cozy and enjoy it. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.